10 Signs of Fake Nice People Have you ever received a compliment and wondered whether or not the person saying it truly meant it? Although we might always want to believe that people's intentions are good, the sad reality is that it's not always the case. There are many fake people in the world pretending to be nice to others for their own benefit. If you're wondering if the people around you are legitimately kind, let's take a look at 10 signs of fake nice people. Number one, fake nice people can't listen. Genuinely nice people will often lend an ear when you want to talk. No matter what the topic is, they will listen to your story and even offer their opinion where possible. Whereas fake people will struggle to listen to you because they're usually very selfish and disinterested in hearing other people's stories. While fake nice people might pretend to be interested in your conversation, they are actually listening in order to make room or redirect the topic to themselves. Everything is always about them and never you. A very common example is when you're expressing your struggles either in the workplace or battles you're fighting with your family, someone will barge in mid-conversation and tell you about their personal experiences in these areas of their life, making your concerns seem minute. Number two, ghosting. They completely ignore all your texts, phone calls, or don't open the door when you go to their place. Although the relationship may be going really well, out of nowhere, the person will disappear and cut you out of their life. This is when you will begin to realize that they were simply fake for all the time they were in your life. Number three, crocodile tears. This term is in reference to people who fake their emotions, namely sadness and remorse. Crocodile tears are common amongst celebrities or political figures. People who display crocodile tears often exaggerate their emotions and display a wide variety of different emotions that don't always make sense. For example, when someone asks you for help and you refuse, they will burst into tears and throw a tantrum. When you offer to help them, they will immediately switch into a full-on happiness mode as if they didn't just cry, thus causing confusion. Number four, passive-aggressive behavior. Many people have the capabilities of being aggressive while being passive on the surface. This is commonly known as passive-aggressive behavior. This is one of the most important signs when trying to identify a fake person. Generally, this person suppresses or internalizes their rage with the aim of maintaining peace in a social setting. However, when the rage starts leaking, they do so in a passive-aggressive manner. For example, if you're upset at your friend, instead of telling them that you're upset, you make shady remarks about fake best friends in front of them to ensure that they hear, even though you aren't talking to them directly. Number five, humble bragging. While some people may think that this term is fairly new, it has been around for ages. Humble bragging means false modesty. This is when people downplay their accomplishments and achievements while subtly bragging about them at the same time. An example of this would be someone saying that they hate that they're so attractive because people are always hitting on them. According to researchers, it's best to brag outright instead of doing it subtly. This is because people prefer when you're upfront and original instead of being fake. Number six, they gossip and criticize others. We know how easy it is to laugh at jokes that are directed at someone else, but if someone is speaking down to others in order to get close to you, chances are they aren't nice at all. Fake nice people love to gossip and they might do so in a nice way that seems unharmful. They will pretend to care about your problems simply to get you to open up, but in the back end, they're actually storing your problems as data to gossip about you to the next person. For example, they might share your personal issues with someone else in an uncaring and gossiping manner. This sign can be difficult to identify, but is a huge red flag for fake nice people. Number seven, they're nice to people who are in power. An obvious sign of fake people is when they totally disregard people they think are beneath them. For example, someone operating at a lower level than them at work. Yet they respect, praise, and cherish those working at a higher level than them, someone who has more power and can make decisions. A good technique is to judge someone by how they treat their friends based on how fortunate or less fortunate their friends are. If they are much nicer to those who are more fortunate, then that nice behavior is probably not genuine. Number eight, 
they always want something. When fake people act all kind and considerate, you best believe that they're up to something or need a favor from you. While they might not portray this at first, as time goes by, they will begin steering the conversation to their needs and desires. They would either ask you to do something that they know you'll do, or ask you for something that they know you have. Number nine, spotting a fake smile. Fake people know exactly how to fake smile, thus making it difficult to differentiate between fake smiles and people who are genuinely happy. Psychologists suggest that genuine smiles almost always use more facial muscles, especially when the wrinkles around the eyes are formed. If you don't see wrinkles, you might just be looking at a fake person. Number 10. Fake nice people are actually rare. While there are many signs of fake nice people, they aren't really common. In most cases, when someone says that they're there for you and listens to you venting, chances are they actually mean it and are genuinely concerned about you. In fact, people have a tendency to view themselves as less likable than others see them. Even though fake nice people do exist, people probably like you much more than you think. This is why it's always a good idea to think the best of people because you could be irrationally fearing the worst. Have you ever met a fake nice person? What was your experience? Let us know in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching and remember if you liked this video then be sure to subscribe for more.